Hey guys, it's Ari here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're building a little kind of small family home in San Sequoia. And I've been building on all the lots in San Sequoia since we got the new Growing Together pack. And this one is actually going to finish up the Anchor Point Wharf neighborhood. I think that's what it's called. It's the one that is down by the water. It's kind of up on the left top of the screen when you're looking at the world. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but it also is where the library is and the vacation home. And I also built the Robo family, some San Sequoia townhomes in this neighborhood as well. But this house finishes it up. And so we only have two builds left before I'll be done with my own little San Sequoia neighborhood or world. So I'm very excited about that. And I do hope you guys enjoy this build. It's a little bit odd. Maybe not odd. I'll call it eclectic. I don't know if that's the right thing to call it, but that's what I'll call it because it's very, very colorful and I feel like not everyone is going to love the style of it or the colors. So I guess it's a little bit of a different build, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people who are kind of renovating their house in very colorful, bold ways. And you know how typically you would paint your walls very neutral color or your cabinets or whatever and then I've seen several different creators so it's not just one person but I've seen several different people who are kind of just leaving those rules behind and they're just decorating their house in the most bright and colorful ways and they're drawing murals on their walls and on their ceilings and it is just the coolest thing to watch and I've been seeing a lot of that this week and so I think that was kind of in my head while I was building this because this house did end up being very very colorful but you know, I do wish that we had some more fun wall decals than we do. I don't really like the ones that I have out of the packs that I have. I don't really like them very much. The Seasons pack came with a lot of wall stuff, right? And wall decals. And then the Cats and Dogs pack, I think, came with a lot of them as well. But I don't really use them very much because I don't really like them. And so I wish we had more fun ones. Or maybe some more funky wallpaper or something like that. But I wish we had some like rainbows or squiggle lines and stuff like I'm seeing all these other people renovate their houses with. I think they're so cool. But anyway, getting back to the build, it is very, very colorful. It's mainly minty green and pink. There's a lot of pink on the inside, a lot more than there is on the outside. But then I also use this kind of wooden trim, which I think has a little tiny, tiny bit of a pinkish tone to it. It's kind of like a little rusty color, maybe a little bit rusted. But anyway, I did use that to match the little carport area that's kind of to the side of the build. And I used an object that we got from the Growing Together pack. I don't know what it's called though. I think it was probably meant to be a pavilion with the splash pad stuff, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I saw it and I thought it would make a great carport for this house. So that's what I used it for. And I did have to use the tool mod to size it up and to kind of lower it down into the ground a little bit so that it would look a little more natural next to the house. But I just think it looks really cute and I really like the way it turned out. But that kind of inspired the different color trim because at first I was going to use white trim. And I'm so glad that I didn't because I feel like it just would have washed the house out. I feel like it would have just been too bland. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really glad that I used the different color trim. But I was thinking about it as I was building this and it had kind of started getting pretty colorful. And I was thinking that this house might would work for one of the berry challenges. Now, I'm not sure what they're all called and what the rules are. I have seen people play them, but I never can remember what the rules are. And I feel like there's one of them that it doesn't matter if you use the same color. And then there's one of them that you do. You're supposed to use the exact same color for every object. And this is not that way because, I mean, clearly we have a bunch of different colors. We have green and pink and then even more than that. So it wouldn't work for that one. But maybe if there was another one where you just wanted a little bit of green, you wanted a green house, but it didn't all have to be green. I don't know about that, but I do think this would be a fun little house. I actually built this. I haven't told you guys this yet. I actually built this for a single mom and twins, twin kids. And so you guys have already seen that on the thumbnail. So you already knew that. But also there's a cat. They're going to have a cat as well that I kind of just decided to add in as I was building. But I just thought it seemed like a really, really fun place to live. And I was using all this pink, which anyone can use this house. It doesn't have to be a single mom. But for some reason, that was just the vibe I was getting. So that's what I decided to build it for. There was a while I was thinking about adding in a grandmother as well. Adding in like another bedroom and then having a grandmother in the household as well. 
But I decided not to do that because it felt pretty close to the Luna Sullivan household at that point and since they're in the same exact world I felt like that might would be a little bit weird. But as always, of course, you can play with this with whatever sims you want to. You can change it whatever way you want to. None of that bothers me. I just hope you guys like it and enjoy it. But that's kind of what I had in my mind as I was building it. And I was thinking that maybe the mom doesn't go to a traditional job. Like maybe she's a freelancer or if you have the nifty knitting pack, which I do not. But if you do have it, she could be like, um, I mean, I don't know what it's called on there. But maybe she sells on Plopsy. Is that what it's called? Something to do with that. Maybe she could be like a little crafter. Clearly, I don't have the nifty knitting pack because I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. So hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about because one of us needs to. But anyway, back to the build. So the landscaping is pretty simple for this. I just kind of kept the closed in flower bed kind of look for the most part. And then I used this towel that I believe is from the get together pack. No, yeah, get together. I believe that's where it's from. And it's really, really bright and it's very white. And when I'm zoomed in like this, it looks totally fine. The whole time I built this house, I was totally fine with it. Loved it. And anyway, then I went to take the end screen and I kind of zoomed out. And then I realized it doesn't match anything in the world. Like it looks so much brighter than everything around it. And usually when I build, I do kind of try to match the sidewalk a little bit. Like I think I usually use the base game flooring that's called sidewalk slabs I think that's what it's called and so I usually use that because it kind of matches the exterior of the world and this just does not it is so bright but I tried to delete it I tried to change it and I just couldn't make myself change it because I really like how bright it is I feel like it matches the house and I just couldn't make myself change it so if you guys don't like that you can definitely switch it around as well if you get it off the gallery but I feel like this is the kind of neighbor that most people wouldn't want to have but all the surrounding houses are very, very colorful in this part of the world. And so I just wanted to do a really, really fun, colorful build. And so that's just, this is what it is. It's just a very bright floor tile. But anyway, this is the exterior of the build. So like I said, this household was kind of built for a family that had twins. And they are like kids because I have, kids are teens, I guess, because I have just normal single beds. But... I wanted to include a lot of activities as well because I kind of had in my mind, like I said, that maybe the mother doesn't leave the house a lot. Maybe she works from home and so they hang out here a whole lot. So I wanted there to be a lot of fun things to do out in the yard. So I included a basketball um, hoop, basketball, I think that's what you would call it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about basketball, but I included the little basketball thing and a swing that has that minty green color, which I absolutely love how that looks. And then I included an outdoor dining area and seating and a tiny little waiting pool as well. And then I included one of these little collection treasure boxes. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's like collector's beware or something like that. But I included that because I kind of had in my mind too, maybe this family goes out and collects things and they come home and dump it in that box. I don't know. I just felt like this family would be really close together and would do a bunch of stuff together like that. And so I just threw that outside. It looks a little bit out of place, but that's kind of what I was thinking about anyway. And I included, of course, tons of activities for the kids. I even have this little activity table up on the front porch. I put two rocking chairs in. That's when I was kind of thinking that I was going to add a grandmother to the household. And um, I didn't. So that's just an extra little rocking chair. But yeah, as you can tell now, we're really ramping up the pink colors, so there is a lot of pink on the inside of this house. And I even included a little pet bed out in the kind of like the activity area outside in the yard. I put a little cat bed, and I'm going to put one on this porch as well, I think. But okay, so when I came to playtesting this house, I didn't want to go back to Brindleton Bay to get a cat. And I think it's a little bit sad that you don't see more random pets walking around in all the worlds. Like, I feel like if you have the cats and dogs pack, that should trigger pets to show up everywhere. <laughs> Am I the only one? I don't know. I feel like it would be cool if you would see some stray pets everywhere, not just in Brindleton Bay. And I don't play a lot, so I may be wrong about that. But so far when I've been playtesting, I don't see any pets anywhere other than Brindleton Bay. So I didn't want to go back there. So I just went and like made a cat in the uh, creative sim. And so I added a little cat to the household. And they're so hard to playtest with. I was trying to playtest the little cat bed that is outside in the yard. Kind of next to the picnic table. I was trying to playtest it. And 
I don't know why. I don't, like I said, I don't play a whole lot. I mostly build now. So this is probably going to make me sound a little bit like crazy, but I just didn't realize that you couldn't click on the animal and make them go do what you want them to do. Like, I don't know why in my mind, I felt like you would be able to click on the pet and click and then just like a sim, you'd be able to click on the pet bed and then they would go to it. I didn't realize that you couldn't control them in that way. And I should have because I have play tested with animals before, but it's been a little while and I had forgotten about that. So anyway, I was trying to get the cat to play test the little cat bed. So I had my sim asking the cat to come lay down in the cat bed and it wouldn't work. The sim was just getting frustrated. And so I started thinking, well, maybe that's how they are telling me that it's not functional. Like I've done something wrong. Let me fix it. So I kept moving the cat bed around, trying to make it work and everything. And it wasn't changing. Every time a sim would ask the cat to get in the cat bed, the cat would like not get in there. And then it would frustrate my sim. And so finally I just let him move on. And I thought, well, maybe it's not that big of a deal. It's outside, I'll just delete it. As soon as my sim walked away, that cat jumped in that cat bed. I'm not even kidding you guys. That is so perfect to me for a cat's behavior. Like that's spot on. That is an absolute typical cat right there. As soon as my sim came into the house, they jumped right up in that bed. So it was functional the whole time. The cat just didn't want to get in it. So anyway, I thought that was funny and kind of weird, but I don't know about the cat stuff. Basically, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That that was, I kind of got off track. But I tried to play test the cat stuff, but I don't know how to do it clearly. I don't know how to do it efficiently. So I don't know if all of the pet stuff is functional in the house, but everything else is functional. Everything else is play tested. I do have to change stuff around when I play test and so it may not look exactly like it does right now, but I do try to make everything work and that's the only thing that I'm not sure about with this build is the cat stuff because my little cat was just not having any of it. It just was not concerned about it. And it just mainly walked around scratching furniture. I don't think that it ever played with any of the toys or anything like that. And then it seemed to like to sleep on the couch more than any of the pet beds that I have throughout the house. But you can't even test the litter box. I guess I would just have to play longer than I normally do because I normally just make my sims go around and check and make sure everything works. And then I just move on to the next build. So I guess I would just have to play longer to make sure all the pet stuff works. But it's kind of a funny thing playing with the pets. I clearly haven't played with them enough, but it was a little bit weird to me that they just kind of do their own thing and you're just really there for them. But I guess that's kind of true too. That's kind of very realistic. But I did place down some cat toys like the little wand and then I placed down some of the little round ones as well, which I think those may actually be for dogs, but I feel like cats would like those as well. I don't know if they do in the game, but yeah, I did place some toys all around, even though my cat never played with them. But for the interior, we do have that main bedroom, which is for the single mother, if that's how you want to play it. That's who I built it for. And then I built the one single room for the twins. So they're both in the same bedroom. And I tried to do this little stripey wallpaper thing where I alternated between the green and the pink wallpaper that I've been using. And I don't really like the way it turned out. I had seen something similar to that on Pinterest and I thought it would look really, really cute, but it didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it was going to. And so I wouldn't blame you if you just wanted to get rid of that and change it because it looks a little bit weird. But anyway, as you can tell, we have a lot of clutter as always, lots of pink. Like I said, the kitchen gave me a bunch of issues because I just couldn't figure out how to lay it out. And I felt like I didn't have enough counter space and everything. And so I ended up adding in this little island, but I'm also going to include one of the little dining tables from the tiny living pack. But that dining table is kind of weird because it's not actually sorted with the other dining tables. And when I was playtesting and my sim got ready to eat, they actually went out to the back porch and sat on that bench. So they didn't even sit on the couch and they didn't go to the dining table. So I think that that little dining table is still a functional dining table. I think it's just weirdly sorted. But if it's not, you might want to change it. I just really like the way it looked and it's a small family. So I wanted to have a kind of small dining table and I felt like that worked out really well. If it works, if it's functional. I mean, they can sit at it. I know it's actually functional. I just don't know if they'll eat at it. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you feel like it, I always love hearing from you guys. And I hope you all are doing really, really well. 
And thanks so much as always for hanging out with me today during the speed build and hopefully I will talk to you guys soon with another one.